your business problem will start from when your business problem always start with acc paid 50000 to seller in cash remember anything which is paid more than 20000 in the form of cash we have dividend yes we have dividend from foreign yes rent yes interest on bank yes 1000 is a odd item you paid for personal that 1000 you are supposed to consider clear Hello everyone. This is your Radha Sir here, lecturing with you from First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. So now we are in the session of your Tax Management Session Eight. In this, we are discussing the topic called Profit and Gain of Business as well as Profession. Now, in the previous sessions, we discussed about the topic called Profession, and in the previous one, in the sense. the seventh session we started the topic called your business now your income from business we done with your profession and we are doing income from business in this in your business how do we calculate the business income so that is what the question actually and in today's session we will work out one question paper problem the problem with solution i have in this session and i'll explain you one by one with adjustments the agenda is very simple we will understand concept along with concept we will do one problem while doing problem the small small concept are there i'll explain you there itself these are the informations we have we are supposed to compute taxable income from business now these are the informations we have in this problem now particular amount and particular amount so these are the informations like we have opening stock and we have closing stock in this there is no closing stock yeah we have closing stock here but your business problem will starts from when your business problem always start with here your business problem always start with here your business problem always starts with here now so we have salary to stock general charges all this we have to consider whether it is related to business or not what is the procedure we have to take which are not related to business these are the expenses if those are not related to business you are supposed to take which are not related to biz which are not related to business we are supposed to take these are the income these are the expenditure so these are the income which are called as disallowed item disallowed in the sense which are not related to business and few things even though which are related to business but even though which are related to business but with adjustment like salary paid to stock salary paid to stock is what it is part of your business in the adjustment they have given out of 30000 salary 5000 paid for watchman for house now watchman for house you are paying 5000 but is that 5000 related to your business no out of 30000 5000 you have to take out because 5000 you are spending for your personal expenses that's what we are supposed to do now in this salary to staff is their part of the business general charges part of the business proprietor salary you are supposed to consider because proprietor salary is his personal it is not part of the business bad debts it is part and i told you any provisions any reserve we have to consider which are not part of the business so your reserve for bad debts income tax interest on capital capital is also what personal municipal tax municipal tax paid on what home house life insurance premium it is paid for personal donation we have to see if donation paid for trade association then it is a part of the business again i will repeat if the donation is paid 
for trade association then it is part of the business hope you are clear yes so we have to check the adjustment later we can come back entertainment expenses whether it is a part of the business or not it is a part of the business why because if you are running a business there are many stops are there small small entertainment required what are, what kind of entertainment they do some uh, christmas is there they will do some entertainment they will play some game they will get some gift all are part of the business or some any october time bonus at the time of bonus they play some game or else some small small expenses will be spent in the business those are called as entertainment expenses legal charges we have to check whether it is legal charges for your profession sorry business or for personal if you have any personal dispute if you have fight with your wife if you have applied for divorce whatever legal charges paid for that is your personal you have a land of your ancestral property and you have filed a case on that whatever you have spent for that legal charges are called as your personal hope you are clear yes now these are the things we have to check legal charges and we have to check donation hope you are clear so salary to staff it is a part wherever i have put into mark you are supposed to take why because those are not related to business hope you are clear yes first we'll go for expenses later we'll come back for all the incomes now these are the adjustment we have see salary to staff includes 1000 paid to watchman as i told you out of your salary is how much salary is around 5000 out of 5000 1000 paid for personal ye 1000 is paid for whom paid to whom watchman this 1000 we call it as personal expenses how much we have to consider only 1000 we have to consider because 1000 is not part of your business now out of this 5000 1000 take it in the and so next donation 6000 given for trade association trade association means what trade means business whatever donation paid it is for business purpose now it will be what your trade association donation is 7000 out of 7 6000 if you minus your answer is 1000 One thousand for personal. You should consider only one thousand. Out of seven, six thousand for business. The balance one thousand is not for business. What are the items we are taking which are not for business? We are considering. Hope you are clear. Yes. Next one, depreciation allowed under Income Tax Act. As I told you, whatever depreciation comes in your problem, like. there is a problem actually if whatever depreciation you get here it will be part of your add addition disallowed item whatever depreciation you get from the adjustment you have to minus which are as per income tax any depreciation here as per your accounts whatever depreciation given in the adjustment which are as per your income tax hope you are clear i'll come back later regarding depreciation then opening stock valued at cost plus cost plus means what increased and closing stock is valued less remember opening stock increased closing stock decreased you have to take it as a disallowed item you have to take it as a not minus plus you have to take it as a disallowed item now ulta opening stock decreased closing stock increased then it will be what minus allowed item okay now so next one is what assessi paid 50000 to seller in cash remember anything which is paid more than 20000 in the form of cash again i'll repeat anything which is paid more than 20000 in the form of cash we have to consider so 
below 20,000 you can make any payment in the form of cash. If 20,000 one rupee also you have to make through check only. If it is paid by cash, this expense will not treat it as business expenditure. Clear? Yes. Now, SEC paid is over. Bad debts recovered in the earlier year, 5,000. This I'll show you. This we have to take it out. Your allowed item. Now, I'll go to your answer. Net profit as per p and l. Net profit as per p and l account. Now, we have disallowed item. What are the disallowed item? We have salary to staff. As I told you, out of 5,000, 1,000 is personal. So, 1,000 only we should consider. Because if it is profession, then 5 minus 1, 4. But in case of business, which are the odd items? 1,000 is the odd item. You paid for personal. That 1,000 you are supposed to consider. Clear? Yes. Proprietor's salary. It is a personal reserve for bad debts. Yes. Income tax. Yes. Interest on capital. Yes. Municipal tax. Yes. LIP. Yes. Bad debts recovered not allowed. Yes. It is there in the adjustment. Opening stock, I told you, opening stock over value, closing stock under value. All put together, you will get 1,12,937. There is a total of all your disallowed item. Clear? Any doubt? No doubt. Now, I'll come back to this. We have net gross profit, will not consider anywhere. We start with what? Net profit. What is your net profit? 1,42,620. 1,42,620, we call it as your net profit. Now, I'll come back to this. We have dividend, yes. We have dividend from foreign, yes. Rent, yes. Interest on bank, yes. Discount is a part of the business. If you want to purchase something, you will ask for discount. So discount is a part of the business. Then refund of income tax. Yes, these are the items we have taken. See, dividend. Yes, dividend from foreign company. Yes, interest on bank deposit. Yes, refund of income tax. And yes, allowed depreciation. So everything, allow depreciation, where do you get? You will get it from adjustment. Hope you are clear. So if you add all your allowed or other heads income, 1,12,937 what your expenses? Minus 33,000. So from 1,12 if you minus you will not get. You have to add back your in net profit. What is your net profit? 142 plus 1,12,000 minus 33,000. Your final answer is 2,22,557. Hope you are clear. Yes, hope you understood I think. Your 1,42 plus 1,12,000 minus 33. Your final answer comes 2,22,557. Hope you are clear. Yes, this is all about your business problem. This much only. Along with that, you are supposed to do your tax calculation also. It is the first problem. I have not done any tax calculation. Just I found out only what is your business income. Hope you are clear. Yes, I'll go back. I'll show you all the slides. Please take a screenshot. So this combination of taxable income from business. So these are the adjustment what you have. So these are the answers actually. So I can split into two slides, but I want answer in the single slide only. That's why font may be little small, manage. Yes. So this is what your today's session, hope you understood. How do we calculate the business income? Easiest one and easily you can understand actually. So please work out and keep it in mind while doing the business income, we have to take which are not related to business. It is not like 
which are related to business. As I told you, if you want to write down, you can write down again. Remember, any proprietor's salary and your depreciation and your uh, reserves, provisions, income tax and your municipal tax, LIC, all this comes under your disallowed item. What will come under allowed item which is supposed to be deducted like income from house property, interest on deposit, capital gain, income from lottery, your dividend from Indian as well as foreign company, all and your income tax refund along with the depreciation as per income tax. All these are called as allowed item we are supposed to minus. I told you what has to be added, what has to be deducted. This much only your income from business. Hope you are clear. Easiest one. If you do another two or three problems, you will understand better. Thank you.